Yeah, um, the problem was just the heat. Um, we had bad weather the last uh, the last few weeks in in the whole Europe, and it was cold. And uh, then the week before, the weather changed, and it was pretty hot in the the last days before the race. It was really competitive. Um, we did six laps, which was a, a lot. <laughs> Usually, it's uh, five or, or four laps. So. Uh, it was a pretty long race, two hours. By the second lap, I was just kind of riding in no man's land and, and didn't really have anyone to chase or anyone catching behind. So um, you just start racing your watch and then you kind of get comfortable and settle in. So it's hard when you're not able to see anyone to chase. So I finished sixth, uh, so that was good, but um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else. <laughs> I live very close to, to Bern and uh, I'm a local there. And I think this was my advantage. But um, for a course like Bern, you, you need power. And that's, um, I don't find my power in the race. The last race was um, five or six weeks before in Offenburg, the last World Cup. And this was a long time for me uh, to not to do that uh, a race. And uh, yeah, I feel that in Bern. The, the first section, maybe the first three laps, was goes always um, better. And then uh, I could change me in my head, and uh, I could. Again, uh, fight and go to the limit, and before nothing. I don't know why, but I think is I lose a little bit in this five weeks the the, the race rhythm. Uh, but I I found this uh, after three laps, and then yeah, I could show uh, a good race. It was pretty hot in the the last days before the race and uh, also in the race and I think this was a little bit my problem. Um, I mean I had a, a solid race but not super good because um, I cannot give my best in the race because it, uh, it was too hot for me. So on Monday Lucas, Matthias and myself drove from Switzerland uh, here to Châtel, France for the Trek World Racing Summer Camp. Progress was going pretty well. I rode downhill for the first time the Saturday after the Liga Gang World Cup when we were there for the IXS. And it was pretty weak when I first started riding. I did 10 runs that first day and it was pretty painful, but I just knew I had to push through it because it was the only way it was going to heal was to get it moving and get it working. I've been riding almost every day since, doing maybe seven, eight runs in the downhill each morning. And being here in Chattel, having all these mountains to ride on and lift, lift access downhill is pretty handy when I'm trying to get back to it. And I'm, I'm just noticing improvements every day, going a little faster and it's hurting a little less. So just got to stay at it and just keep pushing through the pain and hopefully it'll go away soon and I'll be back to where I was in the game of the season. In the mountains somewhere near Chattel doing a pretty awesome uh, XC loop. Yeah, pretty amazing. In the middle of a valley, just come down a pretty wicked little single track descent. And I guess I've got another probably half hour of descending or something crazy like that, because I've been climbing for a while. So, having fun on Trek Summer Camp. Feel buff though. Feel buff. It doesn't mean you're buff. He's Fucking huge. Really Look at these titties. So here in Chateau, um, we got the opportunity to do the crossover challenge. We all switched uh, disciplines and uh, we got a time at the downhill course. We get opportunity to do cross country and 
um, put down times for both disciplines and compare them against each other. It was the first time for me in a, on a downhill bike. Yeah, it's a lot different to a cross-country bike, but uh, I was excited. No, this is pretty easy. It's fast. This will be yeah, really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah. But there's nothing like super technical, like uh -huh. rocky, yeah, yeah. like it's pretty smooth, smooth track. Yeah, but when you ride fast, it's tricky about... I think the corners yep. and the braking will be hard, mm -hmm. yeah. And oh, also because it's quite dry, so this, like, this stuff is really slippery, slippery when you brake mm -hmm. hard on. But yeah, it'll probably be just fast, like... <laughs> 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 Like how, Tracy? <laughs> You're gonna be... <laughs> this corner looks nice, though. I think this is difficult for us. <laughs> Co uh, <laughs> corner the, like the berms, this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even on the downhill bike. <laughs> Long. <laughs> Got the knee pads on. It's a little small. <laughs> Your knees are in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a lap. Oh, boy. <laughs> Like it, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Whoa. Yeah, I was secretly timing myself from the first run, and I was three and a half minutes, and I knew what Tracy was. She was doing it, I think, in I don't know, 220 or something. So by the fourth run, I had it down to 247, I think, my, fin my finish race time was. Um, so it was a lot of fun. But I mean, yeah, fourth run down was the race lap. So I cut a minute off. Right in the back this morning also from Justin and I could look um, which is a good line I could uh, look uh, how how is the position from Justin on the bike and uh, yeah it was very interesting the cross country lap was with the long downhill and the uh, long uphill was very tricky. I've got a different, um, different plan. I reckon I can smoke them on the uphill, so I'm just going to cruise downhill and save myself. Unleash fire. <laughs> Dennis needs to do 20 minutes and 30 seconds to beat Matt. Yes. That is not. That is not possible. Wait, so the tie is going to be between you and Justin. Uh -huh. I think I think you'll win yours. Oh. Oh, it's here. Uh, she. Yeah. No, well, I think Tracy no. will get a 28 minute. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Actually, no, Tracy, Tracy will probably get hers. Yeah. Then you'll get yours, and it's going to come down to Luke and Justin. Uh. Mm. Right down to the wire. XC component was pretty tough really. We we started on a descent which was much of the downhill course so um, could hit that pretty quick um, but then it went pretty much into a, a gnarly climb and um, yeah pretty much things went pretty tough <laughs> halfway up that. They won't get, get us again uh, next year, that's for sure.
there is a lot of editing in this one. <laughs> You're making our job hard this time.